such places as the desert or other bare terrain where nature does not provide us with sufficient coverage, man himself must use his ingenuity to devise artificial methods of concealing his position. The most common of artificial materials used in camouflage is the garnished fish net. This consists of a supporting net into which strips of colored cloth called garnishing are woven. The ends of each strip of garnishing are tied to the net. There are two types of garnishing. One consists of garlands of a uniform color to suit the terrain. The other of multicolored garlands blending at a distance into a uniform matching tone. The patterns are woven so that 90% of the openings in the central part are filled, thinning out irregularly and gradually toward the sides. Fish nets are available in various sizes. Those 12 feet square are used for machine guns and trench mortars. Nets 22 feet square for anti-tank guns, such as the 37 millimeter. Thirty-foot square nets are used for light tanks and small vehicles. Nets 36 by 44 feet are designed for field artillery weapons and trucks. For artillery use, the net should be provided with a 12-foot slit in the center of one of the long sides in order to enable the gun to fire. Medium tanks require a 45-foot net for effective coverage. Fish nets are folded in a standard manner so that they may be quickly and easily unfolded even in the dark. First, the net is stretched out on a level piece of ground. The men take positions by the long edge of the net. The non-com in charge gives the command down. At the command up, the men raise the edge of the net in unison and carry it forward. The command down is repeated and the men lower the net, hooking their fingers in the netting. When they lift the net, they take hold of the netting underneath as well, thus making the folds. This action is repeated until the men have reached the center. They then assemble on the other side and repeat the process. The last fold is carried across the previously folded part of the net. It is then stretched lengthwise. Men at each end fold in the last two feet and then walk toward the center, making a flat roll of the net. When the rolls reach the center of the net, one is folded on top of the other and the net is securely tied, ready to be used at a moment's notice. When the terrain does not offer natural concealment, the exposed vehicle is an easy target for the enemy bomber. One common method of concealing a tank is to drape a garnished fish net over it. The folded net is placed on top so that it can be unrolled over the front and rear. The net is then spread out and poles or branches are inserted to hold it away from the sides. For most important in concealing a tank from aerial observation is to distort its regular form. The edges are then pulled out and staked down at six or eight places in an irregular pattern to complete the drape. In broken terrain, a draped vehicle will usually not be detectable. <laughs> 